Hello everyone and welcome to Fun with Fitzy. This is the second in a series of Excel videos. Today we're going to be talking about uh, cell contents, labels and num uh, values in particularly. Um, but we're going to actually start building an Excel spreadsheet as we go through this. Um, labels are text entries. Okay, so the very first character that you enter into a cell, for example if I enter the letter A, Excel automatically knows that that's going to be a text also known as a label. So it's going to put it at the left. If I enter a number and hit enter, it puts it at the right hand side uh, because that in fact is a value. So labels and values act very differently in Excel. So I'm just going to go up and delete those by hitting delete so that we start fresh. Okay, I want everyone to move to cell A1 and we're going to type the word test. You might have to pause this video and toggle back and forth in order to get this done, but uh, that's okay. So just pause when you need to. Okay, after you hit the type the word test, hit the enter key, and it will move down to uh, another cell for you. Okay, so we've just entered a set of a label into cell A1. Okay, in order to enter information into a cell, you can either press the enter key, one of the arrow keys, the tab key, or just click on another cell using your mouse. Now what I want you to do is enter the following. In cell B1, we're going to make a table here. I'm going to put the word mark, type the word mark. In C1, I'm going to put out of, and in D1, we're going to put percent. So we're putting in just a, a little table here so that students can track their marks. And I'm going to move down to A2 now, and I'm going to put test 1. Right below it in A3, I'm going to put test 2. In A4, I'm going to put test 3. And in A5, I'm going to put test 4. And you can press pause and follow along here. All right, those are all labels. Now we're going to enter values. So now you know values are numbers or formulas. Okay, so when a cell contains a value, when it starts with a plus sign, an equal sign, a minus sign, a dollar sign, or a number as the first character, so any of those things when you type in cell will treat it as a value so you can add things and subtract things and, and do fun stuff with formulas, which we will do in the next video. Okay, so in B2, I'm going to put 23. We got a mark of 23 on test 1. Notice how 23 is justified in the cell. It's right justified, which means it's on the right-hand side. Compared to these labels, they're left justified. They're on the left-hand side. Okay. Now we're going to put in B3, 25. B4, 44, just random numbers here. And in B5, let's put 22. These are the marks that the student got out of the test. And let's move to uh, cell C2 here and we're going to put in the test was out of 30. Test 1 was out of 30. Test 2 was out of 45. Test 3 was out of 50. And in cell C5 we're going to put 25. Okay, is everyone with me? You might have to press pause as I said. Now the great thing about spreadsheets are you can use formulas and these formulas save you a lot of time. We have to create a formula to calculate the percent here. and you know, I know you can get a calculator out and put 23 divided by 30 times 100 in your calculator, but what if you accidentally made a mistake and, and put 23 instead of 25 and your formula, you would have to recalculate that. Excel allows you to not have to recalculate anything. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you how to put a formula in. But for now, let's just call that labels and values, and in the, sec the third video, we'll talk about formulas.